So I'm going to show you how to print your donuts today. I've already done a couple. Um, there is one paper plate and one brayer roller per table. Everything else you can have your own of. And so I'm going to pour just a little bit of brown paint on that paper plate. Then you're going to take your brayer, the roller, and spread out that paint on the paper plate so there's not like big lumps and bumps that it's a smooth layer of paint. I have a pool noodle that I've cut up. It's okay that there's already brown paint on it and it's messy. Um, you're just, you can twist it a little bit. You can see where it's shiny and when it's, where it's dry at. And you want to make sure that you get it all wet. And then you're going to put that down on your paper. But when you put it on your paper, you don't want to twist it or anything. You just want to press down really hard. Lift up and you have a donut. And then you need to re-roll your paper because there's areas that have not as much paint so I re-roll the brayer and then I'm ready to go again and you want to kind of fill up your whole paper with those donuts. Then you can go in with a ballerina brush using the paint that's on the paper plate. Um, you really want to keep it ballerina where it's nice and pointy so that way you don't go outside of your circle and just fill in if there's a lot of like cracks or areas that didn't quite get paint on it then you can fill that in with the brown paint. Clean the brown paint off your brush and then you can use this black paint um, to create the shadows on your donuts. So the shadows are going to be like a moon, a little half, um, an arc, like a rainbow. And you want to keep that right up next to your donut. You don't want any gap between the shadow and the donut. You also want to do the inside of the donut on the opposite side. So just half of the donut on the side that doesn't have the shadow. Um, on the outside is where you do it on the inside and it's that same little half moon shape. You could also um, do it half off the paper. So I got some of it on my table, I'll just wipe it up later, but now my donut is half off the page, um, which is kind of cool. So you might want to experiment with that as well. We'll do the icing and sprinkles next time.